Hello, welcome to your workout. This day is dedicated to my sweet neighbor kids who I got home from work and I had a giant backpack on that held a bunch of food and all that. It was a cooler backpack. And they welcomed me and they wanted me to see their tree house and watch them ride bikes. And out of respect for them, I didn't want to get too close to them because I am out in the public. I do mask, but I want to stay away from them and I want to respect my family wishes too and not get too close to people. But I'm going to pretend that I'm playing with you on your tree house because your tree house looks so fun and the bike riding and going up and down curbs and all that. I miss those days when we could play. So come and sitting with me and we're going to play and we're going to do our best to pretend that we were young, now worry-free, just having a blast in the summer. Let's start by sitting up nice and tall though. Let's get our toes lifted off the ground, intentionally place them as wide as you can go down. Grip your toes, lift your arches, sitting up nice and tall. We want our hips equal with our knees in height or our hips a little higher if you need to sit on a pillow. That's perfectly okay. Belly into spine. I'm not going to talk about elevators saying what they are because maybe the kids are watching me play with them. So let's set up tall. Let's broaden our chest. Let's listen to some music singing happy days. I'm going to turn it on up. We need some energy today, don't we? Sitting up, shoulders up to our ears, down our backs, and all the way to the floor. Up behind us and down the floor. You should have seen the, how athletic. I'm not saying anybody's name because I don't want you guys to find them. But hopefully, like I said, at least if their parents are watching, they know how impressed I am with the athleticism. Even when they were this big, it's amazing. Ready, let's shake side to side. Keep your hips where they are. Try to keep equal weight in your behind. Parallel your, your chest to the screen that you're watching. Bellies into spine, elevators lifted. What we're doing is we're doing a little stomach work. We're doing some rib cage mobility. We're getting our lungs woken up. This is also a good way if you keep your head straight up and down. It's a good way to kind of relax out the neck. We're gonna move our neck a little further. Just let it flow. Let's pull our chin back though, so that our ears are close to over our shoulders. And we're gonna rock out a little bit more. And then we're gonna take it forward and back in, a, in four, three, two, one. Forward, back, forward, back. So belly's in the spine. I'm pulling, I'm trying to pull up here in front and then back, curling it up. Forward and back. Try to keep your chin tucked in though. Not like I was doing to demonstrate. I was trying to look over my bony shoulder to see the screen. To see, I don't know, I guess to see if I'm doing it right or if I have any clue what I'm talking about. Often I have clues and then I think I'm doing this great job and then I see the reality and I'm like, oops. Let's go in a circle. Pick one direction and we're going to go in four, three, two, one. Forward, side, back, side. Forward, side, back, side. Are you feeling your stomach muscles kicking in? Your side muscles? I hope so. Is your chin pushed in? Are you breathing? I feel like I'm doing this all anaerobic, anaerobically. So let's get some breaths in as we do it. Maybe now. And inhale and exhale as you go around. Let's change directions in four, three, two, and one. 
forward, other side, back and around. Forward, other side, back and around. How my trunk moves now, I feel like one of those puppets. You know, a Muppet puppet? Maybe it's Cookie Monster. Hello? Hello? It shows how, how we're asymmetrical, huh? It shows how we could get injuries easily if one side moves so much freer than the other side. The free side probably over moves to take over with the other side that barely moves. And then you're kind of walking around a little crooked all day. Take note of it. That's it. When you think about it, then you'll want to do the side that's a little bit more difficult to see if you can loosen it up. Let's change in four, three, two, and one. All the way to the top. And let's stop. Let's pull a rope. We're going to climb up, up. You have the ability to lift the hip if you would like, reach up high and really shake it out or stay low. You can twist your spine. We're going to get to like a monkey bar thing anyhow soon. I want to get more of a heart rate going. Let's keep going. See how far we can go in this time. If your shoulders, if your arms are getting tired, stay low. Or don't raise that hard. You can pretend that you're running instead. Let's change in four, three, two, and one. I want to bring my arms at uh, chest height and then push them back. Chest height, push them back. What I'm pretending that I'm doing, you know those parallel bars when you were a kid? I don't know what you're supposed to do on. Most people kind of do the split sitting on top and then others climb through and then you kick them. You guys are like, oh yeah, I remember that. Um, we're working the, the, the back of the arm muscles. So our belly's in the spine, elevator's lifted. We're hinging at our hips and we're going backwards. This reminds me, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when my kids got afraid and those big pieces of equipment that have all the netting and stuff at the local fast food chains, eight and a half, nine, I was gonna say 10, 11 months pregnant, I felt like it. And they're like, mommy, come get me. And we're so tall and so big in there where you just had a scooch on your behind and your arms had to do the move. Let's change and Four, three, two, one. Sitting up tall, let's get our feet going. I'm gonna pretend I'm on a bike. Like my cute friend, uh, I'm not gonna say. Miss Cute Friend, that's her name. She had the sweetest bike helmet on. I just wanted to touch that bike helmet so badly. But I was being a respectful person. <laughs> I realized her head's underneath that helmet. And that's not polite. Plus, like I said, I'm trying to keep my, my breathing distance away from them since I'm out in the open. Wanna go fast up the hill? We're gonna go fast, we're gonna pop a wheelie. Right. Ready, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Four, three, two, one, pop your wheelie. She is so good, I can't believe she could jump a curve. I, I was always too afraid. I think I probably still wouldn't try because I could see flipping over the handlebars. Sit up as tall as you can. Change in four, three, two, one. Pop it. Nice. Let's go again. We're going to get a, do it again. Popping the wheelie in four, three, two, one. Pop it. Now, sit up closer to the edge of your chair now. So you're up on that curb. You're on that island where the tree house is. We have to get off the curb. So we're gonna hold our bike, legs are hips di with distance apart, toes are pointed forward. Let's get some ankle mobility going, belly into spine, elevator parts. Lean forward and back. I would like to see your nose, it's called nose over your toes. 
No movement in your spine. We're trying to hinge. If that part's uncomfortable, you can bring your legs further apart. This is the ideal position though for standing, especially if you're using a walker. If you practice with your legs out here and the walker's in there, you're gonna fall, you're gonna trip on it. So let's go nose over toes, get some weight and come back down. If you need to hold the ground or hold on, that's great. I'm gonna be in my little bike with my handlebars. We're gonna change soon though, so don't worry. Four, three, two, and one. Let's sit nice and tall and let's punch. So I'm gonna pretend that I'm just a little kid. Oh, you know what, actually? Let's flip our bikes upside down. Someday I can't wait to show them this. You know how the pedals are up in, the wheels are up in the air, and then if you flip your bike upside down, you've got those pedals. Let's get those pedals going. My friend, Miss Robin, whose birthday's today, I should need to do a shout out. I need an email, I mean, to call her, not email. I'm on baker's hours today, and nobody, no matter what part of the country you like, you don't want to be up on baker's hours. So, <laughs> so I haven't talked to her yet. Anyhow, she and I used to make ice cream. Shoulders away from ears, down your back, glue your little angel wings, your shoulder blades down, and see if you can rock out the ice cream making. Did anybody else ever make ice cream? Was it just my neighborhood? Was it just my two, my two cul-de-sac friends and I? Maybe so. Let's change soon. We're gonna change in four, three, two, one. Whew. I want to lean backwards a little chair, belly into spine, elevators lifted, leaning back just a little bit. I'm trying not to support myself. I mean, especially now since I turned around onto the back of the chair though. And I want to bring my legs out as far as I can go while still maintaining control of my back by using my lower stomach muscles. I don't want any pain in my low back. I don't want any movement in my low back. You can stay as is, you can hold onto the chair, or you could go opposites. I'm gonna do opposites. Shoulders away from ears, chin is tucked towards your chest to protect your neck. <laughs> I feel like a marionette puppet and I'm so off balance. So thanks for helping me with my dance class. It's one more week left, two days away. Something like that. Anyhow, he, he got a chuckle out of when I screenshot the comment, so I appreciate it. So we're gonna change in four, three, two, one. Woo, sit up nice and tall, you can feel in our hips, can't we? We are at 13 minutes. Wow, the kids have me entertained even more than this. Let's take one arm forward, one arm back. We're gonna lock in our shoulders, lock in our chin, and swing to the other one. Swing, swing. We're, we're pretending that we're Tarzan. And we're, we're swinging through the, the jungle. Feel free to insert your jungle call here. I can't, my kids think I'm odd already. My dog's loving me. I cut his toenails and for some reason he thinks he needs to hang out with me now. Whatever. You probably like now that I think about it. I, I worked in the bakery today and we were hard working. So I'm probably smelling. I probably on my, my work uniform had some really good baked food. And there I was thinking he was loving me. Well, that was stupid. Anyhow, the neighborhood kids did not come up and lick me. And they were so welcoming to me. I just adored hearing my name called. So let's swing a little longer. And then it's a tether ball game. That is not in my cul-de-sac, but you know I like a good tether ball game. Let's change in. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Woo! Take our hands, bring them together. This is not the way of playing tether ball, but we might as well get some good trunk rotation. 
good movement across of our spine to help with the, the normalization of tone if your um, body's not regulating that now. Knees are forward, front is turned in one direction, swing and come all the way around. So I'm going from a twist, and let's actually try to twist the opposite way. Twist to an opposite. Watch your shoulders though, we don't want to pull out any shoulder muscles. So you want your shoulders to be glued to your back. Belly and the spine, lift your elevator parts. Tuck back your chin. Do you know my supportive husband um, he hasn't watched any of these videos yet? I should talk smack about him one day. Probably more than I'm doing right now, huh? Just to see if he ever watches and just doesn't say anything. I told my different neighbors that he's super quiet, even to me. That's how I ended up with my four kids. Because I, I knew I didn't have to open it for discussion. I'm glad I have my four though. Occasionally through the years, I've taken one in. Love her. Few other cuties that I, I wish were mine. Whoever was there who raised them, they did such a brilliant job. I wanted to take the credit and make them come live with me too. Let's change sides in four, three, two, one. Other side, all the way down. Rotate your chest, set up nice and tall. Knees forward still. And over the other shoulder and twist. Uh, twisting helps with digestion. Most of us are not seeming to get out of our house. Uh, when you're social distancing, it doesn't mean that you can't see your yard, right? I've heard crazy stuff though that people have, are growing these massive gardens, which is great now, but I'm going to cry for the death of the plants when they go back to real life and those plants are abandoned. My father-in-law is a farmer, and he used to laugh at me because I couldn't even weed out my carrots. He'd say that they're going to grow all twisted, and I thought, who am I to play the, the one above that decides which ones live or not? So I always have really cruddy carrots, and he just you know, shake his head. Anyhow, we're always in a competition for best tomatoes right now. Tomato season here in Southern California and New Mexico and wherever else. Oh, we've done a ton of these. I'm feeling it. Let's change in four, three, two, and one. Oh, shake out your arms a little, yeah? So from here, if it was my chance to play, I'd be playing catch with those kids too. Probably not falling out of a tree to catch the ball, but I'd assume that they were down. So ready to catch your ball? I'm gonna throw it to you and you're gonna ca catch it and pitch it back to me. We're gonna go both sides. So pick one side first. I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna pick the side that I'm not comfortable with first and then go to the other side. My so I'm sitting sideways. It's up to you. I like this way. I have a little bit more surface area for the chair seat. Ball's in my hand. I'm grabbing it in the back arm, lifting the front foot, and then giving it a toss. You could modify this by keeping your leg down. You could hold your chair. You could enhance it by, as you're throwing, you can lift yourself off. I am not gonna lift off. I do not feel like being beheaded by the camera today. Right? If I stand and I'm too tall for this camera. Can you catch my swings? I think I've done all strikes. I think I've strike, struck you out. We need a batter in there so I could strike them out, huh? Let's go to the other side in four, three, two, and one. Oh, ready? Grab your ball, take it all the way back, lift up, and throw. I think I just heard you want to play Red Rover with me. 
Okay, just hold on. We'll be playing shortly. We have to do our 50 billion throws this side to match the other side. It's funny, I'm a lefty, so this would be my throwing arm. And my form's looking better on the other side. I think I uh, am forgetting to concentrate. Huh? My trumpet teacher, did you hear about my trumpet? My trumpet teacher said I have a memory of a goldfish, which when I looked it up was two to three seconds. <laughs> but sometimes I do. Let's change in four, three, two, one. Okay, you hold your arms out. Actually, let's go start by you. We're gonna warm up our arms for a good Red Rover game. So let's let's jump rope backwards. You could stay here, you could lift your legs. I'm gonna stay here, you could do one and then the other. See, that wouldn't kill me. I'm gonna do one and the other, belly and the spine. Arms could go as wide, as big circles as you want. I just prefer you doing it backwards because that'll help stretch out the chest muscles. The chest wall gets so tight from us like getting sucked into our couch, uh, being on the computer all day, being on our cell phones all day, blah, 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 right? Okay, ready? You hold strong because we're gonna start running and we're gonna play Red Rover, Red Rover, send whatever you need over. And we're gonna burst through that wall of hands. I hear they don't play that in school anymore. I guess it's too damaging. Whatever, huh? Ready? Let's change in four, three, two, one. So we're running, 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 running. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck into the ball as low as we can because we're gonna go underneath the Red Rover arms. That'll show them. Faster, faster, faster. Four, three, two, one. Go under. Did you make it under? Let's do it again. Faster, 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 faster. Make your face. Make your face that you're so determined. Oh, four, three, two, one. Get under a ball. Let's keep going. I shouldn't do that. You guys are gonna see how off I, my hair is, but I need, oh, I either need to commit to going gray, charcoal gray and black or whatever. Or I need to commit to hairspray for temporary color. I need to do something. Right faster. But right now I'm just gonna beat you. Four, three, two, one, under. Did we do well? Let's drop some legs off the side, stretch out the front of our hips. So come to the side of your chair, allow that leg to drop off the side, aiming for your knee in line with your hips. I hold on to my chair. Uh, your foot could either be resting on the top of your foot or up on your toes. Just watch your toes so that you don't jam them. So I'm just kind of shifting. I look so antsy, huh? Sitting up tall. Let's take the arm that has the same side that your leg is down and let's stretch it up and over. And maybe I'm glad that I had a giant cooler on my arms. I was running so hard right then though, it looked like I had strobe light, huh? How fast were you guys going? Did you break through the Red, ro ro uh, red Rover? I hope so. Let's open up our chest backwards a little. Reach backwards. If this is hurting your back, I'd rather you just sit up tall and do your moves. Good, come back, let's swap legs. That was a good heart rate thing. Oh, record full swim. My watch hasn't done that forever. So we're dropping the other one off. I'm gonna come in front just to show you. This way or that way with the toes, the feet. Our, we're aiming our knee underneath our hip. I'm holding onto the chair so I don't fall off. We're just kind of catching our breath, starting our cool down, pretending that my neighbor's parents offered me, ooh, chocolate chip cookies, milk. I don't really like lemonade, but I love fruit punch. Fruit punch. 
right now I'm being mature and I have a watermelon kombucha, but I pretend that's a fruit punch. Probably has the same amount of sugar. So sitting up tall, let's lift that arm and come on over to the side. Holding there, breathing. Remember, if this hurts your back, your shoulder, I'd rather you more sit up and just breathe. Sit in good posture. If you're hanging out with me, let's open up our chest to go behind us a little, feeling the stretch in our chest, the front of our fat thigh. Fantastic, coming back up, sit up nice and tall. Let's take, let's erase some of that feeling by going into a ball. When we're down on the, toward the ground, we're gonna kind of, in a sense, aim our belly through our thighs, our heads rested, letting the gravity kind of strength, strengthen out. The reality is, go down as far as you can, just relax your head into your hands, or if you can allow gravity to do it. It's not to change your blood pressure or injure you, it's just a stretch. So let's start up nice and tall, belly and the spine, inhale. As you exhale, slowly start rolling into the spine and then breathe whenever you need. We're gonna hold for a few breaths down here. I will uh, call you up. So you don't, don't break your neck by watching. It's really good for your brain to have the blood flowing the other way, because normally it has to work so hard to get blood up to your brain. But it does change your blood pressure, so be careful. It changes your balance too, doesn't it? Let's go two more breaths. And one more breath. Place the place your arms onto your thighs. Inhale as you slowly roll up. Head and neck is the last to come out. And exhale when you need. Inhale, lift your shoulders to your ears. Round your back and down. Again, inhale, lift them up, around and back. Planting your body in a good position, tightening what needs to be tightening, lifting what needs to be lifting, including the arches of your feet. Pin your shoulders down and back, away from your ears. Inhale, lift your arms up. And exhale. Inhale, lift your arms up. And exhale. Final time, inhale. With your exhale, bring your palms to each other at the heart center. Sitting up tall, I just want you to kind of relax in good posture. I want you to figure out what brings you to your exercise, daily, weekly, monthly. And I want you to take some time to say, you've done it, good for you. You're one step closer to staying strong and able forever and ever. For me, I want you to know that I come to my chair for you as well as for me. If I do something for you, it makes me end up realizing, wow, I've done that for me too, but I don't feel selfish about it. I truly appreciate your time I appreciate your feedback, your guidance, your thanks. It means so much to me. From my open heart to yours, namaste.